Rabbil Alamin. Assalamu alaikum. To the Mars Cares, Wallace and staff, very wonderful staff. In fact, that's a wonderful team, him and his wife. Very good team. In fact, that's a very good functional family. To the imams here, the leaders who are here, uh, to our fellow, fellow, fellow veterans, I'm uh, now a veteran, uh, but just like them, I'm out of service, but I'm not served out. <laughs> and to all of our guests. We're grateful for the invitation to be here, for this opportunity uh, to serve as one of the first Sunday uh, presenters to speak on this theme, transformed or transforming thought to maximize performance. So we begin with Allah's name. We give all thanks and all praise to Almighty God Allah, the one and only creator of the heavens and the earth, who rules alone, who is the living, whose life is without need, while there is not a life without a need in him. His existence is indebted to none, while all other existences is indebted to him. He is bigger than anything. He is bigger than everything, whether we shape it with our hands, or whether we shape it with the imagination of the mind, Allah is bigger. There is nothing like Him in this creation, nor does He resemble anything. Allah is unique. He is unique. He cannot be divided. He cannot be measured. He does not increase, nor does He diminish. He is right now this very second today as He has always been. He created change. He created transformation, but Allah, He Himself, is free from change, free from transforming, free from risk, and free from all limitations of time and space. Space has always been, but we know that space changes. Allah does not change. Space is weakened, and space depends on what's there. Allah is never weakened, and Allah is independent of everything. And as we say, everything depends on Allah even space. Now while space is present everywhere, Allah is more present than even that. Allah says he is, he is omnipresent. He's not somewhere away in heaven. He's above heaven. He's above earth. He's above all creation. And though Allah is above everything, Allah wants us to know that he is always near. Allah Akbar. And we hear it all the time. He wants to he say he's closer to us than our jugular vein. And every man and every woman. Nothing is in Allah. Nor can Allah be contained. Allah's knowledge is without limit. His knowledge is eternal. His knowledge is perfect. Although Allah's actions and judgment are beyond our comprehension, Allah is wise. And Allah is just. He brought this creation into existence because of His wisdom because of his justice, and above all, because of his mercy, not because he had a need. He didn't need it. He is almighty. He's the all-powerful. Nothing comes into being without the power. Nothing comes into being without the order. Nothing comes into being without the permission. Nothing comes into being without the will of Allah. Everything, whether it's small or great, good or evil, beneficial or harmful, known or unknown to us, true or false, sinful or virtuous, occurs only by Allah's permission. Man, jinn, the angels, and even Satan are all powerless to move even a single atom from its proper place without Allah's will. Whatever Allah wills, it comes to be. And what Allah does not will, it cannot exist. We, brothers and sisters, imams, and others, in our veterans, and our beloved pioneers to whom we are forever indebted and grateful, we all, all of us exist today. All of us are here today at this particular time in history. As students, as fathers, as family members of our leader, Mayor Walter D. Muhammad, may Allah bless him with the highest stations of paradise. We exist and are here solely because it is the will of Allah. 
Allah, who will that we come out of, who will that we be a part of, who will and then be a part of this thing in such a, in such a special way, the movement to see our humanity free after being put under the pressure from being treated without respect for our human mind, without respect for our manhood, denied the freedom to have our own future. This is powerful for us. Our own life, unjustly kept back, unjustly held down in a highly offensive and indecent way, so bravely mistreated that Allah Himself, Allah Himself gets involved and turns a mistreated people into a great people who turn out to be a sign to their oppressors and a sign that change. Change has come to the world. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Yes, we can. <laughs> Allah says that He will not change the blessing that He has bestowed upon you. Unless this becomes your choice. This is a favor from Allah. So He says this to us twice in the Quran in different ways. The first one, He talked, He used the term ni'mah. Blessing or favor. And the other one is more leaning towards condition. That he will not change the condition. Unless you change the condition. But in both of these, in both of these, they involve choice. So we changed. Or as you know, Imam says he uses the American Heritage Dictionary, so we as the students we try to get the books he had. So we look the word up, change in that dictionary, and it says to undergo transformation. To transform. Trans meaning to change. Change form. What form are we talking about? The in form. The information. Thinking, as our brother was talking about. How we progress and act on information. Allah has let us know that change, we say, we've said, Allah is not affected by change, but change is the only constant. So we, by Allah's will, have been transformed. And since transformation is a process that is inevitable, a process that is constant, we will continue to transform. We can't escape it. And we have to understand that the key is not to focus on making permanent change, but rather to focus on making change permanent in an ever-changing environment. So we will continue to change. But, but how it unfolds, this is the key to Allah gives it, but how it unfolds is influenced by choice. Allah knows the answer, but He gives man living free will. It's going to happen, but that choice influences it. And again, Allah knows the answer because He's Allah. He don't have to wait for it to happen. He already knows. He even knows the choices that we're going to make. And it is said that in the game of life, heredity and other circumstances, etc., they deal the hand, but you can still play your own cards. And brothers and sisters, we have been dealt a magnificent hand. Allah Akbar. Here we are. Approaching the age of two since our leader delivered us in the ninth month. We're approaching two now. Two years. Ninth month. And we know that's the ninth month on both calendars. And some some say uh, that it's calculated that's the ninth day. Some was faster than the ninth day for them on the month of Ramadan. So if we go with that, that's three. And nine is twenty-seven. Two and seven is nine again, so that's four nine. So that's four. So as our brother talked about that Kaaba, universal, global impact, the doors have been open for us. And we've been delivered to the world. Allah Out of the womb, the physical cord cut. And we've been kept to the trust. We kept the faith. And we are moving upon all the nutrients. We are moving upon all the vitamins. We are moving upon all the oxygen, all the love, all the care that we receive from our leader.